Pisces and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from December 22nd to December 29th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Pisces content is uploaded. Pisces content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal reading, you can find my contact information in the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and you would like to subscribe, you can find the link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Now, so a little bit of astrology before we jump in. Hopefully on the 19th, you didn't go running around accusing people of things that you don't have facts for. Because that is an intense interaction there that happened. And then on the 20th, you had the Jupiter move into Aries. Right? And then on the 21st, we had uh, Capricorn season start. But there was a uh, square with that Jupiter in Aries. So... Hopefully you didn't overpromise anything and now you're trying to find a way to make it happen. Okay, because that was a really very big problem. And uh, Aries, you know, in Jupiter means it's an action taker, your luck is turning, things are changing, okay? On the 22nd, though, when this reading starts, it's a there's harmony between Uranus and Taurus and Capricorn and Venus. So there's peace and harmony going on, everything's gonna feel like nicey nice today. On the 23rd, we got a new moon in Capricorn. So that's all about practicality and you should be setting your goals towards the future. You should be writing down your intentions and having it thinking long-term for next year. It's time to put your brain work into that. The 24th, Mercury in Capricorn is gonna be sextile to Neptune in Pisces, which means imaginations are gonna run amok. If you have creative work to do, this is the day to do it. If you don't have creative work to do, then be careful that you're not letting your imagination run away with you. Just because something appears to be so doesn't mean that something is actually so. Get facts. Thought experiments are great, but then you gotta figure out how to bring them into practicality. Just because you imagine it up doesn't mean it's a reality, okay? On the 25th, the moon is gonna be in Aquarius. So we're gonna feel in tune with the society peace on earth and goodwill towards men on Christmas Day. It's going to be fantastic. On the 26th, you got to have to have a blend of the traditional and the new. If you try to stick to the traditional, it is not going to work. You need to incorporate the new into there. On the 27th and the 28th, the moon is going to be in Pisces. So those are going to be particularly intuitive days, especially for you. Trust your intuition. Let your imagination work. Do the creative work at that time. You can do it. You can move forward. Just, you know, make sure you're focusing and trust that intuition. Go with your gut. On the 29th, moon is going to be in Aries, okay? But Mercury is going to be retrograde in Capricorn, means, which means all communication is hosed. What you thought you heard, you were wrong. You didn't hear it right. People didn't communicate it the right way to you. You need to be doing active listening skills, which requires you to pay attention I know you guys like to dream and let your imagination go out. This is not the time for that. We're in Capricorn season. There's a bunch of planets in Capricorn. You need to be focused. Write yourself checklists. Follow through with things. Ask those questions. This is not the time to be flighty. Focus your stuff or you will achieve nothing. Right? And on that day, people are going to be pissy. When you're not achieving something, when you're not actually communicating, when you're not active listening, they are going to get mad at you. You're gonna get mad at them if they gave you wrong information. That is how this stuff is gonna work. If you're the one doing the communicating, it is your job to make sure your communication is clear. If you're doing the listening, it's your job to ask them questions. Captain Mercury doesn't go retrograde for just a day. It goes on for weeks. If you have things you're trying to accomplish during that time, you best be using your active listening skills. I ask those follow-up questions. Make sure, whatever, because whatever you thought you heard or whatever they thought they heard, both of you are not communicating on all cylinders. You can't because Mercury's in retrograde. You're not good. No, I'm good. No, no, you're not. Okay? Ask. Clarify. <coughs> Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. 
Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Messages for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Okay. So, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to someone, balance, outcome, summary. Okay. Now, this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates and leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. Queen of Cups, it's any water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer. Also a card of Gemini, likely it's just you. You needed to use your intuition about some sort of heartache there. Three of Swords, could have been a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Can be any outside influence that creates disruption and heartache. Hierophant, that's the, a card of Taurus. Also is a card of judge, jury, well not really jury, judge, boss, marriage, contracts, like that. It's an official, this person is an ascended master, uh, could be a guru, take it as it resonates for you. In your present moment, you're going hermit. That's Virgo energy, you could be interacting with a Virgo, but it feels very much just like you're going within because you're trying to find out what you want, what you need. And you need to spend some time contemplating in order to do that. Justice card here in your near future. Again, that's contracts, documents. This is Libra energy. This, it, But it is, again, like the Hierophant. It's about things that are official, judges, things like that. Okay, But it also a card of balance. King of Wands can be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Leo. King of Wands is also a card of Cancer. I'm not sure who this fire sign is for you, but they're going to be fiery and dynamic. It could be you. You could just be in that energy. Someone to you, four of pentacles. They're holding on way too tight. Way too tight. Trying to control, right? You to the someone, standing in wounded warrior. This is the hill you're willing to die on. You are not going to back down. Balance here, page of cups. It's going to be in a communication, possibly in an apology. Okay, whether you owe one to someone else or someone owes one to, one to you, you'll have to take that as it resonates. Outcome here, this is Scorpio energy. This is about a death and a rebirth. Usually it's a rebirth. Two of Swords, Minor Arcana of the Justice card. So whatever this is here, it's also in here. This, this situation is what this rebirth is going to be about. Two of Swords, though. You're in your head, indecisive. This is a Wheel of Fortune, this Sagittarius and Pisces energy that is about patience. It's about divine timing being at play. It's also about time passing. It is also a card of the Wheel of Fortune is turning. Okay, five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Somebody in this relationship over here is feeling left out in the cold. They're not quite sure what's going on here, but they don't necessarily like it. And you're feeling indecisive about the relationship in and of itself. Let's get some clarification. What is this Queen of Cups in Pisces past? High Priestess, what is this Queen of Cups in Pisces past? Five of, of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups in Pisces past? Nope, too many cards. What is this Queen of Cups in Pisces past? Again, too many cards. What is this Queen of Cups in Pisces past? We're not telling a story. We want one card. World. This whole thing is a story, not this one card is a story. Queen of Cups, this is you, definitely, because that's Pisces energy. You need to use your intuition. And there's sadness. There was sadness here in the past. This is a card of Capricorn and Aquarius, in case you were interacting with one of them. It's also a card of travel, closure, endings, something being brought to a completion. Definitely also a card of movement, because the world card is an indicator of movement is happening. So there was something in your past that made you feel sad and you had to move on for it, possibly with a Capricorn. What is this Three of Swords about in Pisces past? 
Ten of Swords. What is this Three of Swords about in Pisces past? Six of Swords. What is this Three of Swords about in Pisces past? Ten of Pentacles. This is heartache. Heartache and betrayal. Okay. This could be a third party situation. doesn't have to be. But it feels like that with the Ten of, of Swords. It's within your community. Ten of Pentacles. You were betrayed. You were betrayed and there was heartache by someone in a community you already have. Now, I don't care if this is work, if this is home, this is family. It doesn't matter. This could be any community you find yourself in, online or in person. Who cares? doesn't matter. There was a betrayal and you had a need to move into calmer waters. What is this Hierophant about in Pisces past? Knight of Pentacles. What is this Hierophant about in Pisces past? The sun. What is this? Hierophant about in Pisces past the moon goodness so this is Pisces energy this is Leo energy this can be Leo energy it's also could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo heavy on the Virgo this is really slow moving energy super slow moving energy the Knight of Pentacles so whoever this was that you were interacting with you there's a slow movement happening here and part of that is because it's not clear okay sun and the moon you're illuminated and in the dark at the same time it's not clear this is like rose colored glasses kind of situation and it doesn't mean that you're looking at it through rose colored glasses just that it's not you don't have clear vision you're not seeing things for the way they are or somebody else wasn't seeing things for the way they are so now they're moving very slowly into something else what is this Hermit card about in Pisces present moment? Two of Swords. What is, this is the Minor Arcana Justice card. What is the Hermit card about in Pisces present moment? Page of Swords. What is the Hermit card about? The Lovers. That's uh, Gemini energy. It's really just about a relationship. You're not sure about a relationship. You're feeling indecisive. Some truth is coming through to you. There's a need to go within really contemplate this it does have to do with contracts documents things of that nature again make sure you're getting all the information page of swords is the truth there is a truth about this relationship a truth about this contract you need whether it's a soul contract because it's a relationship or it's a legal piece of paper you have to sign okay what is this justice card about in Pisces future, near future here. Six of Wands. What is this justice card about in Pisces near future? The Emperor. What is this justice card about in Pisces near future? Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. This Emperor, whoever they are, it's Aries energy, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a boss. Could be a father. Father figure of some kind, whether they're your father or not, doesn't matter. So I, I Emperor is an action taker. It's every king put together. Okay. So this person is an action taker of some kind. It could be a judge because justice system and the emperor is totally a judge. Feeling left out in the cold. But there will be victory. Something was unbalanced before. It wasn't fair. And it's about to be made fair. What is this king of wands about? in Pisces near future three of swords what is this king of wands about in Pisces near future the tower what is this king of wands about in Pisces near future knight of wands okay so any fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius this is a card of Leo that's a card of Sagittarius King of Wands is also Cancer energy. Knight of Wands is uh, Scorpio energy, heavy on the Sag, right? So you'll have to take that as it resonates. There was heartache here. Heartache and betrayal. Okay. Now whether this person betrayed you or you betrayed this person, you're going to have to take that as it resonates. But there is a tower moment coming because of heartache and betrayal. This is inconsistent energy. This, this indicates cheating. 
Three of Swords, Knight of Wands. That's a player. Especially with the, the uh, Ten of Swords in the past and the Three of Swords in the past. Whatever this person did, whoever this is here in the past, whether this was you or it was them. If they did it in the past, they're going to do it in the future. They didn't learn. Or you didn't learn. Take your pick. It's one of the two. You cannot build on quicksand. A complete tower is coming. Your life will be markedly different from this moment to the next. And there will be no going back. The universe is no longer accepting excuses. It is only accepting changed behavior. That is the way it's working as we go into the future. We're entering into that age of Aquarius kind of thing where it's about humanity. It's not just about self. Can't build on quicksand. Can't treat people unfairly. The other half of accountability is changed behavior. If you just acknowledge that you did something wrong or anybody, not just Pisces in general, but everybody, if you just acknowledge that you did things wrong, but you don't change your behavior, then you're not sorry. Stop saying sorry for things you don't intend to change. You don't get forgiveness for repeated bad behavior. Change it or don't. But don't lie to people. And nobody should be lying to you. That's a two-way street. As above, so below. What is this Four of Pentacles about in Pisces' future? Four of Cups. What is this Four of Pentacles about in Pisces' future? I would look up 44. What is this Four of Pentacles about in Pisces' future? And 55. Six of Pentacles. What is this Four of Pentacles about in Pisces' future? Page of Cups. So this person is holding on too tightly. Things are unfair. Things were imbalanced. They feel like they missed an opportunity. Possible that it's communication coming into them. They're not interested. Possible that they're giving a communication out. But it's really feeling like there's an apology coming because there's a missed opportunity because things were unbalanced. All right, they held on too tight to something they shouldn't have held on to. And now they're going to come forward and, and, you know, offer some communication. What is this Nine of Wands about in Pisces' future? Knight of Cups, what is this Nine of Wands about in Pisces' future? Page of Wands, what is this Nine of Wands about in Pisces' future? Seven of Pentacles. Page of Wands, it's communication. Knight of Cups, I mean, this is just Pisces energy. That is what that is. That is that primary definition of that card. So, and it's in the you position. So this is you. You are waiting for something. Some communication came in making you feel like you're in wounded warrior. You're standing on the defensive and you're very slowly moving, but you're waiting on something. I'm not sure what you're waiting on. What is this page of cups in Pisces balance? Five of swords, seven of swords. What is this page of cups in Pisces balance? Two of Cups. It's Cancer Energy. It's also just a card of a relationship. This communication that's coming in from this person up here, whoever this is, it's Page of Cups, Page of Cups. This is them doing the communicating to you about this relationship. That There's stress here. Five of Swords. Again, imbalance, fighting, arguing, that kind of thing. Seven of Swords, deceit. Okay. Lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. Also a card of strategy with the Five of Swords there. That's just lying. Likely there's going to be an apology coming in from this person because they were lying. What is this uh, death card about in Pisces' outcome? Queen of Pentacles, what is this death card about in Pisces' outcome? Nine of Wands, what is this death card about in Pisces' outcome? A hangman. This is Pisces energy. It's a need to get a bigger perspective. Scorpio energy. Nine of Wands. You're in this defensive energy here. This person is also going to be in this defensive energy because of the Nine of Wands here. Okay. Either that or it's the two of you need to get a higher perspective because you're in the Nine of Wands there. But this is any earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, also a card of Sagittarius, in case that's who you're interacting with. Feels very much to me like this Queen of Pentacles is going to be standing in Wounded Warrior as well, and you need to get a higher perspective. But it could be that if you want this rebirth in a relationship, the two of you need to get a bigger perspective on what's important. 
Y'all arguing about petty ass shit. Stop it. I don't, I try not to use that kind of language in these videos, but that's what it feels like. You're in Wounded Warrior, they're in Wounded Warrior, lying is going on. This feels like bickering, bickering over petty stuff. There are bigger things and more important things in this life. Okay? What do you really want? Does this bickering get you to what you want? Or does it not? Do you want to stay where you're at or you want to go somewhere else? You do things you've never done to get what you never had. Stop repeating the same cycles. We're ending karmic cycles. We're breaking family uh, karmic wheels. We're, you know, you don't need to be on this hamster wheel of the same crap. SSDD is not attractive, man. What is this Two of Swords about? <laughs> what is this Two of Swords about in Pisces summary? It's too many cards. What is this Two of Swords about in Pisces summary? King of Wands. <laughs> You're feeling unsure of whoever this is for you. They did it in the past. They're going to do it in the future. You're feeling unsure. Okay? It does have to do with whatever this situation was here for you. Feeling left out in the cold. Because <laughs> these two are basically the same. Okay? So, feeling defensive. Feeling attacked. All these, all these hands on these wands. Wanting a fresh start. This Aries energy. What is this Wheel of Fortune about in Pisces summary? King of Pentacles, what is this Wheel of Fortune about in Pisces summary? Queen of Swords, what is this Wheel of Fortune about in Pisces summary? Strength card. Okay, so this is Leo energy. This is any earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, heavy on the Taurus, also a card of Aries. Queen of Swords, any air sign. Okay, so uh, Libra... Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on the Libra. Queen of Swords is also Virgo energy in case you're in, interacting with one of those. That's Leo energy. So this is a lot of energies that are, could be people. Really feels like there's an element of divine timing at play. Okay, In this go round here, when you're in this energy, when you're feeling this defense of this, there is a change coming. Because this can be a card of change. It can be an ender of a karmic cycle. Now it's possible that somebody or multiple people in one of these signs is going to be coming in to whatever the situation is, bringing, coming in strong, coming in with strength, coming in with conviction, and breaking this chain, breaking this cycle. Do you want to break this chain and break this cycle? Then do not resist these people. If you don't and you want to keep it repeating, then reject what they have to say. Keep doing what you've been doing. Keep getting the garbage in. Garbage in, garbage out. You want something different? You want quality? You got to put in the time. You got to put in the quality. You got to put in the follow through. These people, that this queen of swords, is not afraid to cut out people that don't serve them. I mean, look at her. She's basically challenging. She's got her hand up. She's got her sword out. She says, bring it. Bring it on. I will cut you. Don't make me cut you. They will cut you out. So don't make them do that. All right? There is a balance that can be found here between the two. You have no idea what happens in the world. If, like, if this is a Virgo and that is a Taurus, you have no idea what happens in the world when a Virgo and Taurus come together to try to get something done. You are not going to win. If you're going up against those energies, especially with the Pisces energy you got. You guys are great with the imagination and terrible with the follow-through. These people have the imagination of, of a mutable sign or the intellect of an air sign combined with the follow-through or the passion drive of an Aries or the follow-through of an earth sign. They will be successful. They are manifesting something different. You either want what they're manifesting or you don't. But if you want something different, you need to allow for the universe to come in with their karmic elements and shake. Some people are elements of karma. That is how they work. They might not always be an element of karma, but they might step into a situation and be the reason that there's a tower because they're like, nope, all this is broken. And they just knock it all down so you can rebuild in with something that is actually successful. What is this Five of Pentacles about in a Pisces summary? Knight of Swords, what is this Five of Pentacles about in Pisces summary? 
The star. What is this Five of Pentacles about? Pisces summary. Justice. <laughs> okay. So you're feeling Justice card. Five of Pentacles. Justice card. Five of Pentacles. You see? This is an imbalance. This is an element of destiny at hand. There is no stopping this. This is wish fulfillment. It's an element of destiny. Maybe you can't see what they see. Whoever this person is, this fast moving energy, this fast communication, is any air sign? Okay, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, also a card of Taurus. Fast moving communication, fast moving energy, coming in, seeing this Five of Pentacles, recognizing that there's an imbalance here with the Justice card, needing there, needing there to be a balance, and there's an element of destiny coming in and changing things. And you're going to bring you a tower so you can have a healthier new life. I mean, that very well could be a judge. That could be a cop. That could be anybody like that. Because sometimes that's what it takes. If a person is so deep in toxicity that they're doing things with, that are in the illegal realm that are not good for them, sometimes getting arrested and being thrown in jail is what reforms people. Is it the best situation? No. But it certainly gets people clean. Certainly adjusts the, somebody's attitude, certainly changes things. Sometimes institutional uh, justice can be what makes the difference in someone's life. Whether for the good or the bad, it can be what makes the difference. And it can be an element of karma. Whether it's just, like as in this should have happened, or it's not, is still an element of karma. There's still a lesson to be learned there. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Nine of Swords. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. Come on, guys. Seven of Cups. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 28th. The Empress. Nine of Swords is a nightmare situation, but it's in her imagination. See, if you look at this bird, look at this. They look like they're real birds, but what is this? What is that? That's not a whole bird. That's like a graphic image of a bird. That's like before you rendered it to put the feathers on there. Look how they're all wispy all around them. These are thoughts. Worrying too much. Focusing on the negative. You're going to bring negative. You don't get positive results from a negative attitude. What do you want? Do you want this? Do you want this negativity? Do you want everything to be crap? Or do you want something good? Do you want something different? Send your prayers. Worries are prayers that we don't want answered. Send your prayers up. Focus your energy. Focus on what you can achieve. Focus on the work you can put in. You don't get something for nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody, if you're a grown adult in this world, and I hope you are if you're watching this reading, because I do very specifically say this is not for children. If you are a grown adult in this world, nobody owes you anything. You get what you can earn. If you're not willing to put in the work, then you don't want that thing bad enough. Don't put your hand out to people and expect them to do stuff for you. Now, should they treat you with dignity and respect? Absolutely. Every human being deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. That is a bare minimum standard of how we're supposed to interact with, uh, interact with others. Nobody should be disrespectful to you and you shouldn't be disrespectful to others. Don't tolerate that crap. And, and don't give that crap out to other people. When nobody gets through this world alone. We all require a community. But at the same time, the other half of that is nobody owes you nothing. They owe you nothing but respect. If you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to be consistent, then you will not get that thing. That is not how it works. It doesn't just plop out of the clear blue sky because... Seven of Cups, look at your options. Stop being in this nightmare situation. Stop being in your head about what it is. Look at your options so you can manifest. The Empress is the ultimate manifester. The Emperor is an action taker. He has to go do things for stuff to get done. The Empress, they just come. They receive, they're receiving energy. So if you're in this Empress mold, right? This in this, I mean, like she's given birth to the world. Okay? If you're in this empress mode where you are receiving and we are always in either one of those energies, giving or receiving energies, it's the way it is. If you're very much in your feminine energy and you're trying to pull things through you, you could pull nightmares to you. 
or you can pull options to you. You need to decide. And then if you want one of those things, you need to be willing to put in the work. Have the follow through, put in the work. And do it consistently. Creating consistent, good patterns. Patterns, though. It can't be one day I do this and the next day I do that and then I'm going to split it. No, no. Unless you're going to do exactly those same things on exactly those days, every single day of the week, unless you're on some kind of vacation or something, consistently over and over and they got to be healthy patterns. That's how you build a successful life. If you have no consistency, you have no structure. Your, per your future is built one present moment at a time. I know you guys are great with the imagination and that's good, write it down, be creative, find creative solutions, love it, all about it. But consistency is key. If you want a future where there's no, where you don't have nothing that you've built, nothing, then okay, don't, don't do that, don't be consistent. You can't get, you can't build, you can't get what you want, you can't get what you need unless you build and you can't build without consistency. I know it's a struggle, okay? But you have to try. Get yourself some organization. If you're not, you might be, I don't know. So, if you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the deck that answers them, so focus on that. Messages, ooh, messages for Pisces. Improving health. Messages for Pisces. Unlikely. Messages for Pisces in the near future. Look, you got a timeline. I don't know what this is. This would be a no. This is you have to wait for the right time. And this here is uh, would really be a yes. This is one of the benefits that you get from whatever pattern you were trying to think of. Or maybe you need to improve your health in order to I do think because mental health is every bit as important as physical health. So just make sure you're taking it seriously. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 29th. Show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 29th. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. Advice for Pisces, December 22nd through the 29th. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. What well, you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Let's get you a fairy message. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Fairy gardens. Plant herbs and flowers and we fairies will share our magic. We are grateful when you help the green world. As you tend to your garden, you will be blessed with the wisdom you seek. Okay. All right then. Time to get out in the yard and plant some stuff. Minimally go walk around in the garden. A garden, anywhere, even if you don't own it. Walk around in the garden, appreciate the, the flowers plant the herbs, do something like that. Do something with nature. Being out in nature will, uh, will give you some sort of insight. I hope that helps Pisces because this is what I have for you. And just remember as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.